Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Bitcoin, which uh, it's, it's a little bit more of a bullish update. I mean, in general, we talked about this yesterday. All right. If you watched my video yesterday, uh, we were already uh, cautiously optimistic again <clears throat> for multiple reasons. Uh, but what we talked about and which was the case yesterday, and it's still the case right now, even though I do think that the, the situation is a little bit different. Uh, but what we saw is that yesterday we were actually gaining some momentum, which you can see right now. The situation now is different because we've also lost some momentum. Um, and apart from that, which is also still the case, but has also changed a little bit, is that yesterday morning we had some, some strong spot buying coming in right here. Uh, and that has also changed to the extent that right now, look, the, the spot buying since um since yesterday is still positive all right so we're still getting buys and that's also obviously why the price has gone up here um but it has weakened a bit all right because what you would like to see is you would like to see this increase um linear linearly and that's not going on right now we we are getting these spikes and then a drop in spot uh, in, in in spot cvd so then you get a sell-off so um, I'm not as optimistic anymore as I was yesterday, but yesterday I, I was quite optimistic. And what I told you is that, all right, well, we need to break 58,400. If we can break that, we can actually get some bullish momentum. Uh, so after breaking that, you could have taken some nice trades. Personally, I took Bonk, for example, which did fairly well. And I'm currently still in, in another trade, which I will not disclose, but still. Um, and at this moment, I, do, I am still more bullish on the short term for, for Bitcoin than bearish. Now, that is short term, all right? If we, if we look at the, the bigger situation here, we're still very much in a downtrend, all right? And to get out of this downtrend, we would need to break above 61,800. Uh, and do I think that that is likely? No, all right? To, to, to get a breakout like that, look, short term, what we're seeing is that we are forming some sort of a bullish structure, right? So we broke above the 28 and the 50 EMA, for example, we're holding those. You can see some sort of a short term uptrend right here, some sort of a, a bearish flag, maybe even. So short term, it's fine. And there's enough reason. Oh, let me refresh my camera real quick. Um, there's enough reason to to expect that we're going to go up higher, because what you see right now is that the, the momentum short dropped down a bit yesterday evening. Uh, but overall, it's still going up. Spot buying is also still overall positive. So that's why I think it's most likely to assume for now uh, that we are we are following this uh, this little bullish bullish channel up to the main resistance, which is right here between sixty thousand eight hundred uh, and sixty one thousand five hundred. That's what I think is most likely. But ultimately, like I said, <clears throat> to really turn bullish here, what would happen? What would need to happen first of all is much more momentum, right? All the times that I've seen a reversal in the last couple of months. What has always happened is that the momentum actually started rallying up exponentially. Now, can that happen today? Yes, but we really do need to see it re relatively quickly, right? We need to see something like this, all right? So that the open interest goes up by much, much more, uh, at least $2 billion in, in open positions, more than we have right now. If you look at the price, for example, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, going to, be able to find this, uh, but for example, something like this at the start of April, uh, when we got some short-term bullish momentum right here, not right there, uh, but right here. So if we want to see something like this, which which could theoretically turn into some more longer term bullish momentum, open interest needs to increase much, much more. And that's not the case right now. So right now, I think short term, it's OK to expect more bullish momentum. But long term, I don't think we have mom enough momentum. So even though I do expect some more bullish momentum short term, always be prepared for those major resistance levels and for a breakdown. All right. Um, so yeah, relatively bullish right now, but still very, very, uh, very, very cautious, I would say. So I'll keep you updated on that. If you do have any questions, let me know as well. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.